All right, what is going on, everybody? We're going to try this again. I just will rewatch the first, like, five minutes of episode 15. I was like, I'm pretty positive I've seen this before. I thought this week was episode 15. Last week was episode 15. Scratch all that. So after five minutes of talking to myself for no reason, uh, let's go ahead and hit play. I know we're running a little late here, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video up for you guys. Let's go ahead and hit play right now. Still loading. There we go. Now we're good to go. I want to add, even though I just asked this question, but, uh-oh, Denki, did he develop a ninjutsu yet? Oh, he's trying to run again. See, I really wanted Denki's story to, like, progress. He said he was going to infuse technology and ninjutsu. I wanted to see him, like, summoning some type of, like, half machine, half chakra, half something. But I have a feeling Denki's going to get cut off from the story. Him and Iwabe. He has no idea what they're talking about. Chocho, get the hell out of here. Where did he just get that computer from? Someone needs to help him out, not just showing off in front of his face. Shino, this is your student. Get in there. Yeah, his dad will start beating the shit out of him again. Yikes. Talking that shit. Nobody respects that man. Those kids look grown as shit compared to Boruto and his group. All right, so now let's re-talk about what I just talked about five minutes ago when I was watching the wrong episode. What do you guys think about them redoing the movie in the anime? I've seen a lot of people, some people are kind of like unhappy about it, that they're going to redo the movie. The only people I saw that like were kind of happy that they're redoing is if they include some things we didn't see Maybe we see more Boruto and Sasuke training. Maybe we see more tuning exam fights instead of those two they gave us. Um, maybe we get more of a Mitsuki background. But for the most part, I saw people, they just weren't really happy that they're going to redo the movie. Because from what I've seen, they haven't put a date on when the Sarada Gaiden stuff has come out. I mean, if they have, you guys let me know. I just think they've stated that we're animating the Gaiden, but I don't think they've put a date. If they haven't put a date and they're going to redo the whole movie sequence and then do the guidance stuff, it might be till spring 2018 until Boruto's story, like, progresses. It's like, got up to that class rep stuff, then we're, like, sprouting off and doing the movie and the guide end, then we'll come all the way back around and, like, continue the story. Um, so it should be interesting. I don't think we're going to see anything happen with his eye until they redo all the movie stuff and they get past the guidance stuff, like... That could easily take us through August, September, October, November, December, like 4, 8, 12. I mean, yeah, that could easily be 20 episodes. So let me know what you guys think. Are you happy they're redoing the movie? Are you not happy they're redoing the movie? I'm pretty sure these episodes are going to be kind of, I mean, not filler-ish, but it's not going to be anything that's progressing the story forward. Um, Because it doesn't look like... Uh-oh, Metal Lee, help him out. 
because Denki and Iwabe are no way found in the movie, so that makes it to me like they both failed and didn't continue on. So let's see what happens. If Metal Lee gets past that nervousness, he instantly shoots up to like the top three, top five of this class. Up there with Boruto, Sarada, Mitsuki, Shikadai. You put Metal Lee right there. Exactly. You need to work on that nervousness. Come on, Denki. I want to see something, man. You said technology and ninjutsu. Is that Lee? What strong features? <laughs> If anybody can teach this man how to do it, Lee should be able to do it. I mean, Lee is up there too in strength of that first generation. I've still never, you know how my guy could summon that turtle that he used to jump off of? Have we seen Lee ever summon anything? I would think that between the two, who has the who's going to be easier to get it? You think Danky will be easier to figure out how to do the ninjutsu, or Iwabe will figure out how to do the book stuff? I think it'd be easier to figure out how to do the book stuff. He's already seen it, what, twice, three times? I mean, how much does it take till you finally figure out the formula and how to do it? I feel like if Denki can't figure out to climb, like he'll just never figure out how to climb. He wants to keep going. Can I see my guy? Because we saw Kakashi. He looks the same. We saw Kuranai. That bitch looks 90 years old. We saw flipping Anku. She's huge, and she also looks 60 years old. Why don't you two work together? You, Denki, you're the smartest one. You teach him how to do it. And Iwabe, you teach that man how to climb up there. He made it further. Oh, shit. Why does he keep doing that like he's about to summon something before he climbs?
They should team those two together. If you put Denki in a group together, Iwabe in a group together, I don't know who would be their third, but Iwabe can cover his weakness. He could cover his weakness. I mean, it might not be good when they get out on the battlefield if Denki can't fend for himself, but... Yeah, until you see his flipping F paper he got. Yeah, I really don't think we're going to see these two once we get past the movie stuff. I just don't see where they integrate them into the story. Like who's going to be their who's going to be their third? Like what purpose do they serve? You would hope that they do. It's like why give them a whole episode if they don't even graduate or we never see them again? Like, I would love to fast forward and see, like, Denki and Iwabe, like, training, and them, like, beating the shit out of each other. Denki's, like, grown up and swole as shit. Everyone's like, this kid's dumb as shit. Is Denki all the way up there? Hey, if it works, it works. We just got a bag of burgers. Boruto and his burgers, man. Are they going to be spicy as shit? <laughs> Mitsuki didn't even budge. Did he even bite it? Mitsuki didn't show any emotion. What's going on back there? Damn, I wanted them to go in further into that. I don't know if Mitsuki didn't eat it or he didn't show an emotion. I'll have to rewind that later.
don't tell me they missed the test and this is why they don't progress to the next. That's what I'm saying. Don't let this be why they don't. Is this why we don't see them in the movie? I think Sheena will understand. Iwaba, you got any water style jutsus? Oh man, they're gonna miss it. That's it? I thought maybe they would have to trace up there, throw some shurikens, summon a clone or something. That log wasn't even all the way up. Where's your stick at? Oh shit, my man's going to work with the scientific stuff. <laughs> that suit looks great, by the way. I thought Lee had showed up. He's got to run up the wall to make it, doesn't he? He is running up the wall upside down. Damn, my man over there making some moves. Damn, Denki on the come up, too. That's the firefighters. They didn't even need the water. Y'all better hurry up or you're going to miss the test. Boruto gave everybody the bubble guts and they couldn't make it. That suit looks great.
Damn, they didn't take it. All right, they passed. Are we going to see them in the future episodes? I'm interested to see. Iwabi's going to break down and cry, bro. What's that, second, third try? Look at that dude's eyes back there. Did they forget to fill that in or what? Are those some spicy ass potato chips again? Is that it? That's it. That was, it wasn't a bad episode. I think that was better than last week's episode. The only thing that made last week's episode uh, saveable was that last, like, two-minute chunk. That last two-minute chunk, that cancels out all that stuff, that class rep coming back stuff. Um, but it wasn't too bad. What did you guys think of the episode? I'm just interested to see. So are they going to be incorporated in the story as they grow older, they start going on missions? Are we going to see those two, or are they going to be, like, written out i'm interested to see how that goes and i'm interested to see what next week preview is again you guys let me know what the dates are if they've put out any dates for the um for the guidance stuff i know they stated they're going to do it i just don't know if there's any dates for it i mean this ending is all sarada sakura sasuke focused um, we see her waking her showering on and all that stuff. So clearly, I think that's next, then the movie, because she has them in the movie. So maybe they do guide in first, then the movie, then after. Either way, I could just see this being months on months on months until we um, progress the story. So it should be pretty interesting. I think this is the first time I watched the ending all the way through. I remember people talking about it was pretty good, but minus the song, it's pretty solid. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is definitely the guide and stuff, so maybe they'll do that first, then the movie. Let's see this episode preview. We finally get some Sakura action. Oh, is this that episode where all she does is focus on delivering that doll the whole episode? Run Sarada is the name of the next episode. Could be good, could be bad. I didn't have any like high hopes for this episode, but this one also wasn't too bad, so it should be interesting. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, where do you think the direction is going to go? And let me know. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...